Hey everybody, this is Katie. Uh, so, I decided to do a uh, Zoids review because I haven't seen any videos comparing uh, the regular Rainbow Jerk with the limited edition one. And since it's my favorite Zoid, and I was dusting my Zoids cabinet, <laughs> I figured, why not? So, um, uh, I just kind of wanted to go over some cat. <laughs> Some differences between the two. Um, first off, you can see very clearly that this is the regular edition. It's got a uh, much lighter purple on it. Um, also, this one I panel lined, so you might see the, the difference there. But um, otherwise, the next difference that's very noticeable is that this one has a gray body, and this one, the body is purple. Um, I'm not really sure why they did that. Honestly, I kind of like the contrast of the, the silver gray body on this one more. Um, I'm going to flip them upside down here so you can, oh, maybe that, that won't quite work, but I guess I'll just show it one at a time. Um, this one, the legs are gray, and on the limited edition version, they're white, which I do actually like that uh, a lot more. Um, but just the solid purple for the entire body, I don't know if I like that more than the the gray kind of broke up the the colors more um other than that uh the caps are a little bit of a darker green if it'll focus i don't know if it's going to focus for me but um i think that's pretty much it otherwise uh since i had two of them this one has the uh, uh what were they Wind something or other, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Wind Dancer, I think. Uh, the upgradable uh, parts there. And then this one, uh, you're not really supposed to put the this sword on it, the Bio Crusher, but I think it looks pretty neat. And like I said, since I have two, I decided I might as well do that. Um, okay, so as for the tails, they're pretty much identical. Uh, I didn't really see much difference in them at all. I think that that's pretty much it uh, for the differences. Um, panel lining the wings is really hard, by the way. Uh, and it takes forever, but I think it looks really neat when you're done. Um, but yeah, so those are my two Rainbow Jerks. Really lovely Zoid. Uh, if you are interested in Zoids or birds in general, I would recommend that you pick it up if you can find it because um, it's just really cool. You can pose it in like a lot of different ways. So like you can put, if you put the head down, the wings come out first of all. And um, you can have it kind of crouch like this. And also the beak can open. So like I like to pose them in different ways because it just looks really awesome. Um, but that's it. I hope that all you Zoids lovers enjoyed it. Goodbye. Okay, well, I decided to slap this on the end of my Rainbow Jerk video. Uh, I wanted to show off my Zoids cabinet because, uh, why not? I don't know. Uh, so, these are my HMM babies. Uh, the Command Wolf is the one that I put the most time into. Uh, panel lined him, painted the or oops, painted the orange here painted the little details down here. This piece, I believe, was originally all gold. I did the silver in there. This piece was like, I think it was all blue. I can't remember, but all of those little details, my phone isn't picking it up because I don't have a proper camera. But you can get the idea. Um, also up on his gun, and these here, this, was, this piece was originally all brown. And I did the silver there and the blue to kind of match uh, what you see on the box. Because, like, usually what you see on the box is, like, way better. Um, also, the ears used to be pure white. Um, did those in, too. So he's got a lot of details. And I'm really proud of this one. And then um, this one, I didn't really do anything in particular with him. The Lightning Sykes. But, uh... Still pretty cool, and um, Shadow Fox was one of my first HMM models, so like no panel lining or like special painting details, but um, still looks really cool. And here's the two Rainbow Jerks from the past video. 
and uh, Buster Eagle, I think his name is. Uh, that one I bought um, from someone, uh, I think it was eBay. So it was already put together, but I kind of panel lined him a little bit here and there. These Blogzoids, they, they're kind of eh. Like, I don't really like the way that they are built, but um, it's a bird and I like birds, so I had to have him. <laughs> um, more birds. <laughs> and then, um, oh shoot, what's this one? Lion Blaze, I think. I feel like that's his name. I'm super tired after work, so this is like the worst time to make videos, but because uh, I'm like, blanking on names and stuff. Um, and then this is the Biochera, which I really like the Biozoids. I know that um, a lot of Zoids fans are like kind of iffy on them, but I think they look really sweet. And I want to get uh, at least the Bioraptor in the future because I think it looks cool. And I can't, oh, I can't remember this one's name. Battle Cougar, ha, ah, I got it. This guy is completely custom uh, because his original color scheme reminded me of McDonald's and it made me sad. Uh, also, I have his horn somewhere, but I was moving and uh, it's in a box somewhere and I have to find it, but he does have a, like a unicorn type of horn. But, um, so he's not McDonald's anymore. Now he's blue and dark blue and brown and he looks much better. And I did lots of little details on this guy too. Uh, I took photos of it, it's on my DVR if anybody wants to see like in proper lighting when I had a better camera. Uh, like in, with the wings though, you can see I did details there. And then this is the bottom shelf of the ones that aren't so good but I still like them. <laughs> uh, Fire Phoenix. I have them hanging with like uh, some thread and um, a little sticker sucky things, whatever those are called so that they kind of are suspended above the other one so I have more room. And then, uh, don't remember many of these names. I know that's Gravity Wolf, Gravity Terra. Don't remember him, he was just in a lot that I got off of eBay, but he reminds me of Golem from Pokemon, so he's he's cool. And then, um, oh shoot, uh, Sniper something. God, I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, um, and then the bear one, which I also don't remember the name because I'm I'm dumb. Uh, but yeah, my Zoids. And I'm hoping, my birthday's coming up, I'm hoping uh, to put behind these guys up here. I want to get a Berserk Fuhrer, but I don't know if he's going to fit because there's no room. <laughs> so I'll have to like reorganize my case. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone.